<clears throat> so what is your favorite obs obscure holiday? What do you mean obscure holiday? National Wear Red Shoes Day. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? And you can make one up if you don't know what. So okay. <clears throat> what is your favorite obscure holiday? I like Halloween. <laughs> it's not obscure. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I can't think of any other holiday. <laughs> well, I'd one. like a if National you, Cat Day. That would be nice. I feel like there is one. Okay, that's the one that. <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's the one. Perfect. Do you no. know how to whistle? Yeah, but it's really not that good. Can great. you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can't do it under pressure. <laughs> that's that's, that's great. That's yeah, no, that's great. <laughs> Next question. <clears throat> uh, if you could live in any time period, which time period? 1990s. Would you live? And I've already lived it. But you did live in those time periods. <laughs> it was a good time. It was a good time. It was right when the internet started. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Mm, I have so many. Um, How was Moving Castle, I guess? These are my favorites. And uh, I love all three of the Rush Hour movies. I watch them. All three of them? Yep, Even that three. one where they go to all of them. England or whatever? Yeah, they're hilarious. <laughs> uh, so what's something that you always carry with you when you travel? Q-tips. Just for you know, cleaning and... Basic Q-tipping. Or, I mean, if you want other... Let's see what else I take with me. <laughs> Hand sanitizer is always good. Um, if you were on a deserted island, what would be something that you could not live without? My laptop. And an outlet. And my charger. <laughs> You're like assuming vacation. Yeah. Five star hotel. Oh, you mean like for survival? Okay, I guess. No, I don't no, know. you can interpret Flint the question. Would be good. <laughs> Flint would be good. I'd make some fire. Um, describe yourself in three words. Awkward. Caring. Why do I not believe what I'm saying right now? And then, you're not bougie. <laughs> there you go. You. Um, what is your favorite dance move? Sprinkler. Right this way, madam. Oh, no. uh, right now? Oh, yes. I don't I haven't done it in a while. I don't know if these people want to see it. I think everybody wants to see a sprinkler that hasn't been done in a while. It's all you. I don't have to be in there. Wait! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should we do a beat for you? No, there, there will be one on there. I don't know. I don't. I haven't done it. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it like this? That's the best. I, I don't even know if that's right, honestly. You guys can comment. I don't think there me. are rules to dance. I'm really bad, bad at anything but using my computer, pretty much. How do you? What do you think? I was. I mean, that was pretty bad. But no, that was good. I'm working I on like it. I like it. It was better than. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna buy a sprinkler and then plug it in and stuff. I don't know. Plug in sprinklers. <laughs> I guess you connect them to the water. Maybe that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You plug them into the water. Stuff. <laughs> it's all this vitamin D that's really throwing me off, you guys. I mean, there's okay, no so sun other than it. your candy and junk food, what is a food that you cannot live without? Like what's something that you're always stocked with? Sandwich bread. <laughs> there you go guys. I'm so Sandwich. sophisticated. Okay, <clears throat> so the next three questions have to be answered in your best British accent. All right, let's do it. <laughs> what is your go-to karaoke song? Something probably from Eminem, maybe? I don't know. I. <laughs> I, nothing really comes to mind right away, but one of his songs. Okay, so if you were a rap artist, what would your rapper name be? My rap name would be... In a British accent, please. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my rap name would be... Little... Just talk out some ideas. <laughs> Little JK. Little J... Bougie the Little rapper. J <laughs> Bougie JK. Yeah, I don't know. I oh, wait, wait. I thought enough. of something. My The name would be Little, Little Turkey because that was my nickname in high school. What? Little Turkey. Oh my gosh, I need to follow up with why was that your nickname in high No, you know what? Let's keep them in suspense. Yes. Do you have a, a hidden talent that nobody knows about? I can put... Oh, British accent? 
Mm, nope, I think that's okay. the last one. So uh, I can put both my legs behind my head. But I won't do it on camera. Okay, we'll save that one for Sorry. the behind the scenes exclusive. My mom would, would not, would be, would just yell at me if I did that. I think Sorry. I might too. That's a little strange. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so what is something that people don't know about you? Uh, gosh, there's so much. Um, I don't know. I guess, I've, although I seem very sociable and outspoken, and I do, I find myself to be that way, you know, in general. But when I first get to meet someone, I, I think I'm a little kind of awkward and strange. So I'm, I'm a little bit more reserved when I first meet people. But it takes a while for, or not a while, but it takes a couple of conversations for me to open up to someone. I guess I don't know if that's really a good. I don't know if that's really a good no, like, hidden I think fact so. about myself. Snapple fact. But um, actually, and okay, another another thing, I guess. Um, I do mention this a lot, but you know, my parents are immigrants from Lebanon, and so I'm, I mean, I'm first generation here. I guess people were because people were asking me my opinion on like the travel ban and stuff like that. So I guess that's a fun fact for you guys asking me about it. Snapple fact. There you go. If your life was a song, what song would it be? Okay, so I really want to say something from Kid Cudi, but he has some questionable lyrics in some of his songs, and I... Oh, Soundtrack to My Life by Kid Cudi, there you go. There you go. It's, it's literally, it literally Soundtrack literally... to My Life. Yeah, no, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know that there's a lot of up-and-coming and, like, just starting photographers that follow you. What advice would you give them? Um... If you give them one piece of advice that... that can really help them in their journey as photographers. Don't believe your own hype. That's my number one. You know, if you start to get too confident, you don't be fancy. Yeah, don't be fancy and don't don't get too confident because overconfidence <clears throat> is gonna stunt your growth and it's gonna prevent you from learning new things. And you know, just, I, just stay humble. Just keep learning. People often think like, oh, I went out, I did a shoot, and I should be better in that one shoot. And I don't think that's very realistic or, or even possible. You have to keep practicing. It's gonna take years for you to get to where you want to be. So, yeah, just have, just don't have unrealistic expectations. Too. Okay, very good. And if you would be able to give yourself a piece of advice, your younger self, what would it be in regard to say either photography or life or both? To not trust everyone because some people have don't have your best interests especially um, in the field of photography. You really have to be careful working with some people and not everyone's uh, looking out for you in the best way. And you have to be really, really assertive. When I started photography, I was not assertive at all. People would literally take over my photo shoots and I would constantly be mad and frustrated. I never liked my photo shoots. So I just, the number one thing is just, I wish I was more assertive. And essentially it is your photo shoot. You're the, you're the leader of, of that team. You have to delegate rules and you can't put up with people's with people's uh, you know crap basically you have to kind of take control of your own photo shoot and just be aware of people and their intentions that's one thing that I would just help everyone that's and yourself important. a younger yeah person. of course yeah people will take advantage of you because you're a photographer and maybe they want stuff from you maybe they want free pictures um, I mean it's fine if you're friends with someone but you just have to be cautious and just be aware, again, of people's intentions. Okay, very good. And now the last question, I think, if you had just one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you've ever wanted for one moment, moment. would you capture it? Or just let it slip. Or just let it slip. There you go, mom's spaghetti, guys. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> that was good. Um, well, that's it for this interview with Jessica Kobesi. By the way, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm always a little wacky, but like I said, it's all this vitamin D, it's messing me up, I don't even... She keeps saying that, but I don't know what that means. It's too much. It's too much sunlight right now. Well, alright guys, um, hit that like button, subscribe for more uh, behind the scenes, uh, exclusive interviews, and photography 101s. On catch a couch you guys. in the middle of, on Melrose. Catch you guys next time. Bye.